on guys welcome back to another episode of JY throws my wrist has been bugging me a little bit so today I'm just gonna throw some discus give it a little bit of a chance to rest and last practice I had some really good feelings trying to mimic some things that Daniel Stahl is doing in his throw and I did a video talking about the off arm but while doing that I started to analyze some things that I could start to incorporate into my throw I tried them out at practice and it was feeling great so today I want to continue with the same feelings talk about some of the things that I was working on first things first I want to start with some stand throws and start to find the connection with my hips to the discus and finding this feeling early on with the stand throws helps so much. So with these stand throws, I'm trying to find the feeling where my hips finish at the same time the disc finishes. And it's easy to have a disconnect in the timing. And oftentimes my hip will finish before my arm's in a position to finish. So then from that moment on, I'm wasting energy pulling back into the circle and pulling off of the throw and taking the disc off of its orbit. So stand throws is all about trying to find that timing where the disc comes out nice and flat down the middle. But I'm also trying to work on a new feeling today. When examining Daniel Stahl's throw, one of the most amazing things he does is get an incredible block and continue to finish the implement before he starts to jump. And in my throws, I start jumping early. So with these stand throws, I'm just experimenting with the feeling and trying to focus on really getting a good block and turning into it. A couple of feelings I want to try to find early on. First thing is making sure I'm getting a nice wide stretch early, feeling the disc be apart, and continue that through. And then I want to feel my arm and my knee attached to each other as they're opening up, and then get my left leg out. This feeling that I've got right now out of the back, I'm absolutely loving. There's so many problems that it's starting to solve and there are positions that I've been looking for for a long time. But something about feeling that nice long reach and separation of my arms at the beginning of the throw is putting me in positions that it's naturally feeling a lot more comfortable to be lower on my legs out of the back which means that as I get to the front, I'll have a bit more room for extension to drive the disc up. And you'll see on a lot of throws that I'm really missing the timing on the finish, but the main focus is positions out of the back, and it was lightly drizzling for most of practice until near the end where it started to rain a bit harder. So I was really cautious and slow out of the back, and I think that's one of the reasons that I was getting off late on quite a few throws. But overall, feeling my hips pull out of the circle, being lower out of the back, Having the disc be taller throughout the throw are all things that are starting to feel a lot better. And over the next few weeks, I'm going to continue to work this feeling so it gets locked in my muscle memory, as well as try to time up the finish.
All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. It just started raining too hard, and it's really slippery, so not worth trying to risk it and fall in the rain or anything like that. But thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, subscribe for more. See you in the next one.